I started because my mum was a gymnastics coach, so I used to do gymnastics anyway. And then I got like a letter to start diving, and I started it, and I like I just really enjoyed it. But um, then you know, like after I'd already started, you know, you look up to people like Tom Daly, you fall like in love with the sport. Like you can just watch like loads of videos on it, and you know, at that point, I was just like watching videos of people on YouTube. And even like uh, Matty Lee, who won in the Olympics with Tom Daly, who like I now obviously train with, and I trained with Tom Daly. Back then, I just kind of watched them and look up to them, to which gave me motivation to keep going. So you know, 100%, just the people who are at the top of their games back when I started inspired me to try and get that good instead of just doing it for fun, pretty much. Gold Coast was actually my first multi-sport event. So I look, obviously I'm used to like going internationally and like, you know, mixing with the other divers. It was the first time, you know, I'd been there and there was like sprinters and, you know, people doing different sports and, you know, it's really cool mixing and like seeing other sports perform and like meeting obviously lots of people on Team England who have walked like similar paths with me as me doing sports but obviously very different and you know watching people in team sports and how they all interact with each other is pretty cool. It is a major event in terms of the audience and in terms of the reach it gets so it was a really it is really fun event and it's one I'm looking forward to a lot this year especially with the home crowd. I've heard you know from Tom saying he did the London Olympics saying it's just having that like extra adrenaline and extra cheering, pushing you on to do better, you know, something I've always wanted to experience, so I'm really looking forward to that. In diving, there's a lot of good people um, who, and there's only so many spots that you can, you know, take. So at the Commonwealth, you're allowed three individual people and like two synchro teams, but there's probably, I'd say like six or seven good people individually and like, you know, four synchro teams. So. Yeah, it's, it means a lot because, you know, you have to represent those people who are at home who didn't make it, who's obviously a dream there is. Uh, it's their dream to, to make it and, you know, represent Team England, especially at a home game. So, yeah, it really does mean a lot because of that. Definitely this time I'm aiming for gold, whereas last time uh, I was, it's not that I wasn't aiming for a medal, but it wasn't, I wasn't expecting one. So to get one was just a bonus. But this time, again, not to say I'm expecting one, but you know, I'm definitely aiming to get one and aiming to get a gold. The Commonwealth Games or the Olympic Games are so different to any other events we do. You know, getting to go and see the behind the scenes and see how the village works and like the food hall and then even just the event and the competition, it would definitely prepare them in the future to, you know, if when they qualify for Commonwealth Games or Olympic Games, they can, you know, be there and know what to expect and be prepared to, you know, perform well instead of being thrown in the deep end at their first major, not knowing what anything's like or what they're meant to do or perform like. And so it, it will really will help them in the future um, far more than, you know, you, you would ever think it would.